my teddy bear. He's my favorite one. Please take off my itty bitty hat. Sure, Barney. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank all of you for that fun dance. Welcome, Barney. We had a good time making our teddy bears dance. Oh, and speaking of teddy bears, I see bears, bears everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'll bet there's something special happening here at school today. There is, because today is my teddy bear day. Your teddy bear day? Yes, it was my day to choose a favorite thing for everyone to bring to school. Mm. And I chose teddy bears because Teddy is my favorite friend. Oh, that's nice. What sort of fun things can we do with your special friends? Well, we were going to have a teddy bear picnic in the playground, but the weather's too cold and windy. Oh, gosh, a picnic for your teddy bears does sound like a fun idea. Maybe we could have a picnic here in the classroom. Ooh, that's a great idea, David. We could put a picnic cloth on the table. Mm -hmm. And more dress-up clothes. Oh, oh. And make teddy bear sandwiches. Oh, and boy, oh, oh boy, oh boy. A teddy bear picnic. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, Barney, everything's ready. All right then, ladies and gentlemen. Let the picnic begin. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're so polite. <laughs> Love you. Sean, may I please have a sandwich? Yes, you may. Thank you. Kathy, would your teddy like some return tea? Oh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I do believe that we have another guest coming to our picnic. Hi, guys. Hello, BJ. How lovely to see you. We're delighted that you came. Most delighted. Would you care for something to eat? Whoa, hey, Barney. Everyone's talking kind of funny. What's going on? <clears throat> We're not talking funny, BJ. We're just having a teddy bear picnic. And everyone is using very good manners. Oh, good manners? Well, I know all about good manners, and they're really important. When I was three, 
And then the more I learned, the more that I could see That there's a way to do it wrong, there's a way to do it right Everybody use your manners now and be polite Oh, that's right! Good manners! A part of your picnic? Yes, you may. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Let's see. I'll need a plate and a teacup and a napkin. <laughs> and I've got the napkins right here. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> oh. And, uh, hmm. Well, that's funny. I, uh, I think I've seen this napkin somewhere before. Yeah. <laughs> Go, baby Bob. Thank you. Hi, sissy. Did you lose your blankie again? I did not lose my blankie. Blankie lost me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all the teddy bears. <laughs> We've been bringing our favorite things to school, and today we brought teddy bears, because that's my favorite thing. Oh, Kathy, I brought my favorite thing to school, too. I did. It's Blanky. <laughs> oh, that's her favorite thing, all right. She takes it everywhere. Oh, but that's because Baby Bop's Blanky helps her feel good when she's tired or scared or a little bit shy. Oh. And lots and lots of boys and girls have Blankies. Baby Bop, have you had your Blanky for a long time? A long, long time. When I was a baby, my blankie covered me all up. <laughs> but not now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you've been growing since then. Oh, I grow every single day, but I still like my blankie. <laughs> I'm gonna sing now. <laughs> I like my blankie. It's very, very yellow. I like it even better than a bowl of jello. <laughs> When she holds it close, it feels just right. She likes her yellow blankie in the day and night. I like my yellow blankie in the day and night. See my dance? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> my blankie is so special and very, very yellow. I like to keep it with me when I say hello. <laughs> when she holds it close, it feels just right. She likes her yellow blankie in the day and night. I like my yellow blankie in the day and night. <laughs> I love to dance. <laughs> and sing. <laughs> my blankie feels soft like a big marshmallow. But I like it most because it's oh so yellow. When she holds it close, it feels just right. She likes her yellow blankie in the day and night. I like my yellow blankie in the day and night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my blankie is just for me, and it's very soft. <laughs> is it soft like my teddy? It is soft like a cloud. <laughs> well, let's find some other soft things here in the classroom. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Nippity <laughs> is very soft fur. <laughs> this toy globe is soft like a pillow. And this feather feels soft and sort of tickly, too. <laughs> hey! Look at this. I've got a big soft beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do 
Those are nice, soft things, but I like my blankie the best. <laughs> my, my blankie is gone. Where is my blankie? Oh. You had it just a minute ago. But it's gone right now. Uh-oh. We'll help you find it, baby Bob. Come on. Oh, Blanky is lost. I want my Blanky. Don't worry, Baby Pop. I'm sure we'll find it very soon. Oh, thank you. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find your Blanky, Baby Pop. Oh. We looked up. Mm -hmm. And we looked down. Yeah. We looked in front of us. Uh-huh. And then we looked in back of us. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I think you should have looked behind Baby Bop. See? Why? <laughs> Why? Here you are, Baby Bop. Oh, my blankie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See? Everything turned out fine. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, sissy, I'm sorry you lost your blankie. It made me feel sad. I know. It's no fun to lose things. If I lost my hat, I'd feel really bad. You would feel bad, because it's your most favorite thing. Yeah, it is. But you know what? What? You're my favorite sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we're real close friends. We stay up late and talk at night. Sometimes we don't get along there are even times we fight but i know she's always there and i know he'll always care she's my sister i love my sister i've given her a great big hug when she was feeling bad sometimes you've said some things that have really made me mad. But I know you're always there. And I know you'll always care. She's my sister. I love my sister. But I know I love my sister. I'm his sister. I love my sister. Oh, I love you too, VJ. <laughs> I think we need to clean up the classroom a little. We sort of made a mess looking around for Baby Bop's blankie. Oh, clean up time. Up two, three. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> there, that's good. <laughs> Barney, we finished cleaning up the classroom, so we decided to build a mountain to play on. What do you think? Oh, my. It's a big one. <laughs> In fact, it's so big that it may be sort of a problem. What kind of problem, Barney? Well, I'm pretty sure that a special friend of mine is coming to pay a surprise visit. Oh, <laughs> hey. He tells the very best stories. Oh, oh, that's that's nice. Nice. But now I don't know if he'll be able to get around this great big mountain when he comes. <laughs> hmm. Let me see now. Well... Yes? There's plenty of room for our very special guest to be coming around the mountain. Yay! He'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming round the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming round the mountain. He'll be coming round the mountain. He'll be coming round the mountain when he comes. He'll be driving six white horses when he comes. Whoa! He'll be driving six white horses when he comes. Whoa! He'll be driving six white horses. He'll be driving six white horses. He'll be driving six white horses when he comes. Whoa! Hi there, Wombat, choo-choo, and we'll all be glad 
Hi, Barney. Hi, everyone. Yay! Oh, Hi, Joe. Oh, this is great. Oh, everyone, this is my very good friend, Joe Ferguson. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Joe, we've been talking about all sorts of favorite things today. Teddy bears and blankies and hats. So, I thought that you could visit and share one of your favorite things with us. That's a good idea. One of my favorite things is sharing stories with boys and girls. And little dinosaurs. Hey, that's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and big dinosaurs, too. <laughs> Goody. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I have a story about a very good friend of mine. See if you can guess what he's called. He's shaped like this. A circle? Hmm. You're right. It's a circle. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And my friend, Mr. Circle, lives inside of this book. And sometimes he won't come out of the book. Come on out, Mr. Circle. He said he's not coming out because no one said the magic word. Oh, please. 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 Everybody said it, Mr. Circle, so come on out of the book. He said he won't come out still because no one has on the color green. Oh, if you have on anything green, raise your little finger. Oh, okay, they have on green, and they said to Matt, come on out of the book, Mr. Circle. <laughs> Can you say hi to Mr. Circle? Hi, Mr. Hi, Circle. Mr. Hi. His favorite game is a game that's called basketball. Oh, basketball. He likes basketball because he's shaped as a basketball. Well, one morning he got up, and he took his bath. Can you take your bath? Oh, take your bath. He brushed his teeth. Ow. He flossed his teeth. Mm -hmm. And sometimes your mom and daddy have to help you with that strain. Yeah. Ow. Had a nice breakfast. And then he wanted to find someone to play basketball with. Now, he started to go down the street, but he started to roll at first very slowly. Rolling. And while he was rolling down the street, he saw a very beautiful butterfly. Can you show me a butterfly? He saw flowers blooming. Oh, neat. But while he was rolling down the street, he saw a little girl. The little girl was riding a yellow tricycle. The little girl's name was Miss Triangle. So he rolled up to the triangle, and he said, Miss Triangle, would you please play some basketball with me today? I can't, said Miss Triangle. I'm getting ready to go to my ballet lessons. OK, said Mr. Circle. Have a nice time at ballet. But he did not give up. He rolled some more. And he was rolling down the street, and he saw a little boy. And the little boy was real cool. He had two long sides and two short sides. Too long, too short, too long, and too short. His name was Mr. Rectangle. Too long and too short. So he said, Mr. Rectangle, would you please play some basketball with me today? I can't, said Mr. Rectangle. I'm getting ready to go to the library to check out some books. You mean you like to read books? Yes, says Mr. Rectangle. I like to read books because I'm shaped like a lot of books. I have two long sides and two short sides. OK, Mr. Rectangle, have a nice time at the library. But he did not give up. He rolled some more. Well, he rolled down the street until he came to the square. Now, a square is a shape that had four sides, all the same length. And when he came to the square, he met all of his friends. And then his friend said, Mr. Circle, would you like to play some basketball? And Mr. Circle said, OK. Boys and girls and dinosaurs, that was a story that was all about shapes. Oh, yay! Oh, boy! Oh, that story was still stupendous! I'm glad you liked it. Mr. Ferguson, do you like listening to stories, too? I certainly do, men. I thought since you told us such a good story, maybe we could tell you a story to say thanks. That's a terrific sure. idea. Oh, another story. Yes! Oh, boy. What kind of a story would you like to hear, Joe? Well, I see a lot of bears around your classroom. Do you know any stories about bears? We sure do. Come on, everyone. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, bear stories. I love stories about bears. Oh, so do I. <laughs> oh. Come on, BJ. Oh, okay, go. I'm coming, Sissy. Oh, here we go. go. Oh, I just know this is going to be a fun story. I can barely wait. Oh. <laughs> Bye.
One day, Goldilocks was walking in the wood. You could tell by her look she was up to no good. She found the empty bear, so with a smile that she said, I think I'll try some porridge, a chair, and a bed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> the bears came back and when they served cotton, Papa Bear said, I can't believe my eyes. Mama Bear said, Our porridge, my chair. There's someone in my bed with curly blonde hair. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the little girl sat straight up in the bed. I better leave before I lose my head. Mama Bear said, This will happen no more. Next time we leave, we're going to lock the door. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was wonderful. I really like the way you told that story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've had a lot of fun, but it's time for me to go. Oh. Thanks for inviting me, Barney. Oh, sure. We hope you come again soon, Joe. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you know I'm three years old? I am. <laughs> Barney? Yes, Kathy? We've had lots of fun today with our favorite things. But what is your favorite thing? Yeah. yeah. What is what? Do you really want to know? Yeah. Yes. Maybe you can guess. We'll try. Oh, my very favorite thing is sort of like your favorite things. It's as warm as Baby Buff's blankie. Oh, then it's very warm. <laughs> oh. And as much fun as BJ's hat. Yeah, it is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. My very favorite thing is as sweet as Kathy's teddy. Oh. <laughs> now, can you guess? Whatever it is, it must be really special. Oh, it is. Because my favorite thing is having good friends like you. Aww, <laughs> Barney. Oh, Barney. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> I love you, you love me We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you won't you say you love me too? Oh, oh I'm sleepy. <laughs> Come on, sissy. We had a lot of fun today, but it's time to go. Oh, okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 So long, everybody. Bye, BJ. 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 See you later. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. I think it's time for all of us to go. But what about our teddy bears? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Oh. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We had fun with everyone's favorite things, like the teddy bear picnic we had for Kathy's teddy. <laughs> oh, that was such a nice way to practice using good manners. Baby Bop's favorite thing was her blankie, because it's so soft, like a hamster or a feather. When my friend Joe Ferguson came to visit, his favorite thing was telling stories. He liked hearing stories, too, like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Do you have a favorite thing? My very favorite thing is having friends to love. And do you know what? I love you.